Yep, it's your boy DJ Academics. Didn't think I was gonna be back, I'm back. Okay, now we're back with season three of On The Sticks and this time around we switching up things just a little bit, all right? It's gonna be me versus the MMA. Y'all see the muscles, y'all see the guns. Now we're gonna be doing this in a fully virtual experience, something you're gonna love and if you watch my Twitch streams, it's kinda about that, all right? Now, here's the drill. I'm gonna be playing a few games, very competitive, versus a few cool people all while I'm chilling leaning back in the comfort of the studios built for me by complex y'all know i'm back home baby okay now today this is gonna be a tough one we're gonna attempt to take down a two-time invicta atomweight champion jin yu frey in street fighter now we all know she's a beast in the ring but is she a beast on the sticks we're gonna be seeing who's left standing after this all while we're gonna get to see a different side of her one that you may not see too often join me on the sticks Listen, man, Control Chaos, that's the best way to describe Jin Yu Frey. She's actually battled her way to win covet belts across the mixed martial arts universe. Not to mention, she's an avid gamer, okay? With multiple degrees, kind of remind me of myself. You guys all know me. Listen, man, I consider myself an athlete on the sticks. And to be honest, she's actually trying to say she wants this type of smoke. So without further ado, man, listen, it's a season three of On The Sticks. Welcome to Jin Yu Frey, and we're about to get it in on Street Fighter V. Now, have you played this before? Because we'll be honest, it might be a little bit of an amateur. And you know what I mean? Uh, My sound guy was I saying that, he was like, yo, yo, the way how she's clicking those buttons look like she's doing all type of combinations. She's about to beat your ass. And I'm like, come on now. Come on, take it easy on me now. <laughs> I haven't played in like Street Fighter in like 20, like I play PlayStation games, but I haven't played Street Fighter in like 20 years. Okay, good, so. good, good. That's what I like to hear. It's okay. So we're, we're, we're two amateurs, two novices. Hey, hey, I, I do want to, uh, oh my God, you're starting off hot. Okay, cool. I like this. I like this. Okay, don't back up now. Oh my God. The button mashing works. Oh, you're moving around like an acrobat. What really intrigued me is that like you have like a molecular or some nuclear degree. Like you have some Extra hard degree. Oh my God, relax now. Relax, see, this is what I'm saying. You can't use any move you don't do in real life. I don't think, okay, hold up. How, how did oh. you get into fighting? I wanna hear the story. I was just trying to get into shape. Like I, I played sports when I was younger and like after I finished school, I was just looking for a way to kind of get in shape. Um, so actually I just originally started it for fun. And then uh, I'm a super competitive person. Once I started doing it, I was like, oh, I could, I can do this, I can Help me understand, okay? Because I think when you say you were trying to get into shape, it's like, I think there's levels to this. I mean, like, I, I, I was looking on your Instagram, you're in, a, you're in over amazing shape. Why did we just lost first round? It's okay. Why did you, why did you pick fighting actually as something you would like pick up? The gym that I was at had started like a martial arts program. And uh, like, I could see them, like as I'm running on the treadmill and uh, you know, it just kind of piqued my interest because every day just running on the treadmill, you know, got pretty monotonous. And before then, right, Have you, did you ever like get into a, any type of like altercation or fights like at school? No, that's the funny thing is the first time I ever got into a cage was the first, like my first fight. Your first hit, fight so ever? Like, yes. <laughs> you know, how nervous were you compared to like, you know, obviously you're, you're a veteran now. Were you nervous then or you, uh, do you still get nervous? Just see that. Oh, uh, that was luck. <laughs> Your family kind of does have, you know, history in, you know, um, mixed martial arts, right? Like, like your older brother, your mom and dad. So it's, it's uh, or actually it's Taekwondo, right? Like, so you did have some type of family experience, right? History with that. Mm. Ouch. So, you, you want me to take it easy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm ending this. But, but yeah, no, 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 tell the story, please. Like you said, everybody else did martial arts, even though it wasn't like a huge part of my life. Um, but it's almost like it was destined to happen. Like I said, like as a child, I didn't do karate or taekwondo or anything like that. And so, um, you know, for me to start at like 22, I did feel like I kind of got a late start. So uh, the part I was saying before about how interesting it is, right? So you have a degree in nuclear medicine radiology. Like that just seems 
insanely hard, right? Did you get a chance to use those degrees? I, I worked in nuclear medicine. Uh, I still work in nuclear medicine. Like um, I just work PRN, which is just as needed now. Like if somebody wants a day off, like I worked full time for like, you know, 13, 14 years. And then um, like now, now that um, I'm fighting full time, you know, I just work periodically, like a couple, couple times a month. I, I, I seen like on, on uh, Instagram, like you're definitely into, you know, cosplay. Like I see the Chun Li cosplay. I think you had, did you show up to one of the fights? So all of those were like weigh in day. So I would always show up to weigh in um, dressed as a particular female heroine. I'll be honest, like I wasn't the first to do it. And I had seen like um, a couple other girls do it. And it just, um, you know, fight week is kind of stressful. Like you're worried about making weight. You're about to get, you know, in a fist fight with somebody in a cage. And so um, it was just something that was kind of fun to like, have something to look forward to and like explain some of the stresses that you're probably going through at the moment right like i could imagine not only making weight but a lot of people you're gonna have a like you're for the most part training is usually oh my god <laughs> is it like also mental preparation as well and not only physical oh yeah like um that's something oh oh my god did y'all catch that? No, no, that's, that's what I'm saying. You, you're not doing that one. No, no. This is, oh my God. See, all right, hold on. Now. I'm gonna start running. So, so mentally, like, what what zone do you get into? Because again, you're super competitive. S say you're about to fight somebody who has an undefeated record. You're the underdog, right? Um, how do you go into that? You know, after you put in all the work, but now, oh my God, jeez, you're not playing around. <laughs> <laughs> how do you go into that? Like that. <laughs> So we're, we're even, we're tied. You won one set of three, I won one set of three. This We're gonna decide the whole thing right now. All right, so this one is for all the marbles, all right? What are you gonna do? You're gonna start asking me questions while I'm playing and trying to distract me. No, you know, just playful conversations. Yeah. Hey, by the way, that is the, that's an art to compete in. Having, comp having conversation and getting in the head of your opponent, uh, how, do, how do you kind of like, either throw them off in terms of like, maybe they hit you and you just act like it doesn't hurt. Cause I, I always watch that and I'm like, no, that hurt. And then I'll see the person like laughing. Um, you know, I'm pretty stone faced. I've got a pretty good game face. Yeah. And, um, you know, sometimes that bothers people like knowing that they just hit you with their best shot, kind of like that. Yeah. Here we go, here we go. Yeah, this guy's doing a lot of nothing. I don't know, oh my God. <laughs> Oh, oh, I like that one. Oh, oh no. Oh. Because this one was all the marbles, right? Uh, um, but yeah, you know, you, you, you definitely absolutely won. Um, what was that? You could go for three out of five. You won two out of three. We don't have to have any rules here. I still got a couple more questions I want to ask you. Okay, okay. Real quick question. What was Fight Island like? Um, you know, so in theory, like it was like, oh my gosh, I'm about to fight on Fight Island. This is pretty badass. Yeah. But um it was it was a lot different. There was a lot we had to go through. Um, you know, we had to fly out to Vegas and quarantine there, and then we had to fly to Abu Dhabi and quarantine there. Um, and then for me, I was fighting at like 4 a.m. their time. So I had 4 a.m.? Um, yes. W was your sleep schedule like off or did you have to like get adjusted for that? Oh, um, so that was like part of it was just trying to get used to staying up all night long and then being asleep during the day. But then there was like still stuff that we had to go do during the day. So it's like my sleep kept getting like really disturbed. Um, Cause we had to go like every day and get like a new COVID test and you had to change out your bands. And then we were in a, like a bubble. You know, I was still grateful for the opportunity to um, be able to experience that and, you know, travel abroad in the middle of pandemic. Is it, is it even tougher now? Um, or do you get more locked in because, you know, you kind of have to be isolated anyway? Um, you know, I kind of like it. Um, because they've been doing a lot of the fights at the Apex Center and there's like no crowd. And so it just, it doesn't feel like there's near as much pressure. Oh, no. oh my God. Oh. oh, that this guy's good. Now this guy's good. Hey, you found your guy. <laughs>
What's, uh, I don't know, I, I, I love your stories. What's the probably the craziest story, just a fight story? It doesn't have to be a knockout or anything. Just the most like either unusual thing that, that's happened. There was a girl that I fought and she like didn't bathe. And so she had like the worst PO. And it's kind of, I mean, it's kind of a dirty tactic. <laughs> Wait, they do that? Well, I thought like, oh man, I mean. No, yeah, it's so, like, as you're fighting, they, you know, they smell and you're grappling, your face is like in their armpit all over them or whatever. And they- It's a good strategy. Like, yeah, it is. Did you make it, obviously you made it through the fight. Did you win? Um, yes, I did. Oh, okay. I, I mean, have you ever thought about, I mean, well, obviously you, you said it's proud upon. It's not cheating though, by the way. I got special moves going on here, but this is the last one. You need to win this or I need to win this. Whoever wins this is gonna be the um, the winner. Wow. Ooh, I like this, great. All right, I'm gonna let you focus. This is the last one. Oh. Sh <laughs> oh. You got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. Oh man, almost made the comeback though. I just want to thank you so much for joining us on On The Sticks. Uh, clearly, you're not only a better fighter in real life, but you're definitely better at Street Fighter. So, you know, you're going to be the champion for now. I want to rematch. You're, you're joining the very short, the short list of people who actually beat me on the show. But, you know, congratulations. And I'm glad to, you know, that we had this talk. Awesome. Thank you so much for having me. It was a blast. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't rather beat anybody else. Like, listen, you a badass, but I don't know about... <laughs> ah, man, I'll close, but not all the way. Okay, now I gotta say, Jen, thank you for appearing on the show today. You were amazing. It was awesome having you. Great conversation and also great player, great fighter. Listen, man, until next time, people, you're gonna have to catch me here for another episode next time on The Sticks. <laughs>